car search engine. I am G, your host. And I am Kelly, your co-host. As you see, we are here in Costa, Costa Rica. Rica. Yes. Yeah, baby. And uh, you know what? It's a town of about 800 people here. And uh, it's mountainous everywhere. And uh, you have townhouses and houses and condos up on the hills everywhere. Beautiful. It is gorgeous here. Gorgeous. As you see, short sleeve shirts and shorts and all. And it's like, this is the perfect weather. And uh, you always wear uh, casual clothes around here everywhere you go. Riding bicycles, riding mopeds. They even have four wheelers going down, down the middle of the street. Right. Golf carts. What else? And hey, no stop signs. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, they say Alto. Whatever the heck Alto is, we'll stop at it twice next time. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyhow, it's like not one red light in this whole town. That's how small it is. Yes. And we're here. And we're here, yeah. And we got a car from car for you. It's unreal. What car we got? Uh, this car is from Sweden. Sweden, baby. Anyways, it's a 2008 Koenig CCX. And now, this company was founded in 1994. You know, with uh, Christian von Koenig's <laughs> suggestion, uh, uh, you know, he put his expertise to more accessible vehicles. Within our company, there could be room to start utilizing all the technological developments we've created and trickle them down into no more normal cars. Koenig's carthrottle.com, does that mean the Swedish supercar, which Christian was 22 years old when he started this company. Tell him he got some smarts up there, you know. And uh, so the man, so by throttling the car down from a super expensive car down to a more normal car that people can buy, uh, that can price on a price the price down far enough that people can buy this car. Uh, the manufacturer will sell itself out to a large auto group or start slapping its name on more budget-friendly automobiles hardly. hardly. I think the brand Koenigs should stay in this rarefied area, make the extreme machines, and keep on pushing the limit. They push the limits on the horsepower and everything else wow. in this car. Uh, the one-of-a-kind, on, the, on the, the one hand, Koenig could launch a separate sub-brand to bring less expensive machinery to market. Okay, now, uh, many years of development promoting the company for street legal production car delivery in 2002, finally. Wow. Because he founded it in 1994. So, the prototype was first publicized in 19, 1996, while the full production prototype was finally unveiled in 2000. The first, uh, customer took a delivery of a red Koenig in 2002 and four more cars were built that year. Con Koenig was established in Asia later that year with a premiere at the Seoul Auto Show. In 2004 the new Koenig was unveiled at the Auto at the Geneva Auto Show. Only 14 were made. Wow. Yeah. Well, tell them what what size engine this thing It's got? a 16-cylinder, 1,500 horsepower. Wow, that is a lot. That is a tremendous amount of horsepower. Now, uh, the CCR broke the Guinness Book of World Records, attained 241.63 miles per hour. Wow. Yeah. Now, the record was held until September 2005 when the long-awaited broke the record again at 253 miles, 253.81 miles per hour, proven by BBC. Who's BBC? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, but uh, did you ever show them the car? No, I didn't. Well, take a look at this car right here. Check out this baby. And what kind of doors has it got? Scissor doors. Wow. Okay. You know what? I love this car. I wish I had this car. There are only a few of them made each each year. It's like I don't have 
Uh, what's the money on this car? One million two hundred fifty thousand dollars for this car. I don't have the That's cash. That's a lot of money. That's deep pockets. Deep pockets. Yep. We, we are, are out of here. here.